Hey everybody, this is Dan for Gaming Dan Cars. Now, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. I got a lot of cool stuff going on here. But today we're taking a look at the all new, first time this, this car has been in the United States. This is a 2019 Mercedes-Benz A220. Now, this is the entry level Mercedes. Um, this car starts at $34,500, a Mercedes that starts with a three in the price. Um, this car is just about $40,000 with all the options. It has the two options that you want, the multimedia package and the premium package. So let's take a look at this car. Now, I borrowed this car from Sun Motors Mercedes here in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Now, right behind me is the BMW dealer that I go to all the time. And right over there is the Audi dealer where I just bought my wife's car. Now, this car, I, ha I have about an hour with this car, so that's why I'm not doing my whole setup and everything. But we're going to take a look at this car. Now, this is the fourth generation of the Mercedes A-Class, but this is the first time the United States has gotten this car. You know, in Europe and in Mexico, they've gotten, uh, it's been a hatchback. Um, they have the A35 and the A45, which is like just just one step below AMG. But so this car has a two-liter turbo four-cylinder engine, 188 horsepower, 221 foot-pounds of torque. But this car will go zero to 60 in a little bit over six seconds. So 188 horsepower and it still goes zero to 60 in about six seconds is pretty impressive. So let's talk about the styling. This car is the entry level car for Mercedes. It is not the CLA, which is over there. Um, this car has uh, shorter overhangs front and back, more space in the back, as opposed to the CLA, which has a more sloping roof line and you know less room in the back. Um, this car has 17 inch wheels, which they look okay. Um, as far as a design standpoint, I think the side angle is its best angle. Uh, I think the front is a little, I'm not gonna say it's bad looking, you've got the corporate LEDs that like the CLS has sort of angry looking but up front it's sort of I'm gonna say plain but it's still a good-looking car the proportions are right the interior space is very nice you've got a huge panoramic sunroof which looks great on the inside moving around back uh, this car is 4Matic which is Mercedes talk for all-wheel drive um, Mercedes is now doing sort of like taillights that go in and they get a little squintier as they go in you've got nice little exhaust tips right there so I keep saying entry-level Mercedes, but this is still an attractive little car. I mean, getting into a Mercedes brand with this for $40,000 is pretty impressive. And this car has an interior that is by far the best part about this car. Now, this car has uh, Mercedes' new uh, interior design uh, system, which is called MBUX, which it was first rolled out into this car, and now it is in the GLE which has been newly redesigned for 2020. This car was brand new for 2019, but this interior is easily the nicest interior system and design and layout for any car under $50,000. Like I said, this is a $40,000 car. So I wanna go sort of in depth on the interior because it is so revolutionary and like high tech for a car that looks like this. So let's, let's take a look at the interior. Going to the interior of the A220. Okay, this is where the magic happens. Now, this car has the multimedia package, which gives you two 10.3 inch displays. I mean, you can see my reflection so well, but this, I've said before, Mercedes, um, starting with the E class and the S class, has basically has the nicest layout of interiors of any cars in their segment. I mean, look at that little graphic right there with the LEDs and the aggressive looking AMG grille. So all the materials in this car are, are like first rate. You've got like the fighter jet style vents right here that move, you know, each way. Um, all this material, these are nice metal. There's hardly any plastic in this whole car. This is like a nice brushed aluminum trim. You've got real substantial feeling poles. Now the the steering wheel is where you control everything, but let's let's listen to what this car does when you start it up. So foot on the brake.
Okay, now to go along with this MBUX platform, it has you know voice control where you can sort of control it kind of like Siri, you know, with your Apple iPhone. But the best part of this car is these little buttons right here on either side of the steering wheel control the gauges up front. Um, down here, this controls the main screen, which they're also a touch screen. Um, you can go do a bunch of different things, and it has like a, a nice satisfying little click. Okay, so go back to media. Let's go to home. Now you can scroll through the screens with a uh, your finger or you can switch over as I move my hand here left you can see that the screens are going so you can either have a touch screen or you can use it right down here uh, the column shifter is right here this is what Mercedes uses you know flick down to go into drive now I'm in drive or you press the button to go into park so the customization and just the level of options that you have for this interior screen right in front of you is just unbelievable I mean for a car of this price point and size so if I just scroll my finger right here and I'm now on the middle screen right there and I'm just going up and down you can control so many things you can see it almost like an iPhone there's like little options of what you can do right there so if I go down now if I swip, swipe left uh, I can change the screen right here so I can go miles per hour there's a clock there's you know from start like your trip odometer sort of from reset route schedule I mean it's just unbelievable the options that you have so if I just go back all the way up to the top you 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 would sort of have to play around with it to get it to what you want it to be so if I go swipe right I'm in the middle now I'm all the way on the right hand screen so on this screen you can go your RPMs your fuel consumption uh, your echo display you know how much you're on the accelerator or the coasting I mean it's just unbelievable the amount of customization that you have there's your nav screen so you kind of like the virtual cockpit from my wife's Audi you can have the nav screen right here your speedometer right here and all your info and phone stuff over here I mean this is just unbelievably customizable and just impressive the amount of options that you have and the screens look so crisp and clear as far as like the pixels and everything now there's actually themes too okay on this screen you got phone info Mercedes me and apps settings you know all that stuff so it's just unbelievable the amount of technology that is crammed into a little entry-level car like this I feel like it's like I'm in front of a mirror I can like see my hands so yeah there's just so many things you can do and in, in a car of this uh, stature I guess you could say but it's just unbelievable all right so now I want to try out the voice controls and see if it works. hey Keep. hey Mercedes what do you want to do I would like some coffee Okay. Please. So it took me right to the Starbucks right here. Now the only the only thing I've heard is that there's an option that you can have where if you're just talking about the car and you say Mercedes, it's gonna wanna it's gonna wanna talk to you. So you, you can turn that off to where you only hit a button and then you say, Hey, Mercedes. See, every time you say that word, that's that's kinda like hey Siri, which my phone's probably gonna go off. It's just it's just it's kinda like Siri in that you can say, Hey, I would like a coffee or hey, turn the turn the uh, air conditioning down to sixty-eight, but just the amount of options that you have in this car. Um, down here is like the shortcut buttons, but you can actually write on this pad, you know, full. You get my point in that you can write on the car on this little trackpad to say where you want to go. Like if you, as opposed to doing say, hey, I want to get a coffee or hey, I would like to go home. You can write on this little trackpad. So you've got sort of different options here to go through on the screen. You've got your assistance, all this stuff, vehicle, lighting, navigation, media, telephone. I mean, I'll say it again, in a car for $40,000, this has by far the most amount of technology that in its class okay now the other cars in this class are like an Audi a3 um, BMW has the 2 series but they do not have a sedan of the 2 series yet in the US I think we're going to get it but still this or the Audi a3 will be your entry-level sort of German luxury cars in the segment but this is just it blows me away this whole uh, dash system it's just so impressive I mean I can't imagine if you need to get these screens like fixed let's say you got a crack in the screen uh, that might be a pain in the butt to take care of but all right let's go check out the back seat all right going into the back seat of the a-class now I had the seat where I was sitting and I just hit my head on the door now this is a little bit tight but hey this is a you know a small car over here you still have two vent controls back here and some USBs and some storage here shocked it's scary oh don't be scared okay 
So this is not bad. You still got nice, beautiful black leather. Nice, still the same quality craftsmanship of materials. Uh, doesn't really feel uh, cheap at all. It's just, but just look at that big screen up there. That is just absolutely huge. All right, so let's check out the trunk. All right, now the trunk of the A-Class. Okay, that is absolutely huge. I mean, I can't imagine what even a C-Class trunk would be like. That's It's huge for a car that looks like this and is it has such a small footprint as this. I mean, that is absolutely massive. So that is another, another plus for the A-Class. All right, now that was just a quick walkthrough of the 2019 Mercedes-Benz A220. Now, the amount of technology that is packed into this car is just absolutely remarkable that Mercedes-Benz is doing such a smart thing in rolling out this new infotainment system in the smallest and cheapest car that they have. It makes you think that cars that are more expensive that look as good as they do have the same exact type of infotainment, which is just absolutely so you know, awesome to have to roll it out in a small car like this. So now we're going to stop this video. I'm going to do another video taking this thing out on the road and then we're going to give this a GEM score. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. All right, so now I want to try out the voice controls and see if it works. Hey, Mercedes. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Mercedes, me. To become acquainted with the voice controls. Oh. Hey, hey, Mercedes. What do you want to do? I would like some coffee. <laughs>